Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Sarad and in this Daily Dose of Tarot uh, we're going to check into the 31st of uh, May 2022 and uh, should you be interested guys in a personal reading with me uh, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're going to see a link to my website uh, in which in the very front page you can see a full list of my services and as well their pricing so with that said, uh, starting up with the first card for the day, we do have uh, the Seven of Cups, followed by the second card of the day, which uh, that is going to be the, the Chariot here. And the final card of the day, uh, that happens to be Seven of Pentacles. So these three cards quite of a quite of an interesting day it is what we are going to have ahead now uh long story short here uh, that is going to be the day where we all are going to have the chance to make progress into what we are daydreaming of now this is going to be the deciding day right what I, how i like to say things about these cards it is that couple of things is going to happen about our daydreams right first uh is what's going to happen is that is going to be decided through our efforts all right through our efforts is what we are dreaming of is it a fantasy or a seeds growing so that is one of the, the the deciding factors and the second deciding factor is that if it is something that can grow is it really worth our time and as well our hassle is it really worth our efforts because for what the cards are showing here these are gonna be colossal efforts okay I, and i mean really colossal efforts but with um with these two cards the reward at, at the end and i hate you know being i don't know exaggerating in such a way it's not an exaggeration it is actually saying it true as the cards go i hate going to that length but the reward at the end could be truly a wish fulfillment with the chariot chariot guys is a triumphing against the odds and what better card having the stack of odds against us than the seven of cups which card in its generic state says that you know we are daydreaming you know and we most likely are having a unrealistic goals well they will become quite realistic in the 31st of may 2022 it all comes to that are we willing to put the iron will and as well the determination that the chariot requires are we gonna waver right are we gonna get ourselves afraid of what is required from us to uh to push forward so to speak and uh, make some tangible progress because that's what's um that's what it's, it is at stake here making tangible progress in regards to what we are daydreaming of and uh, all this is gonna take place or is gonna happen through a quite of a unexpected event which is lurking behind the corner okay it's just it is there we're not expecting it and at some point at midday or at the afternoon bang it's how it happens and that's the moment where we oh my god now i i have my chance now right i can go for it now few things or rather like one important thing it is that we need to give an answer to is it worth it in other words is chasing of of this daydream of ours is going to give us or is going to pay back yeah it's going to give us exactly as much as we are investing into now the gains they don't have to be uh similar in in um i, I will say value or in character so we may invest money and get satisfaction all right we may invest attention and get love but the thing is that the value at the end that we put what we invest in and what we get out of it kind of needs to be more or less the same here and that is something we need to give an answer to the 
uh, to the situation right away. For the most part, or for the majority of us, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna worth it. Okay, for the majority of us, it's gonna worth it, and uh, that is gonna put us in a very uplifted state, so to speak. And although the efforts are gonna be colossal by their generic state, to us it's going to feel like, you know, it's a piece of cake. It's like a walk in the park. That is because we would we will find ourselves really wanting to go into that direction and do what we are doing. So that's the moment where for some, you know, it feels like a chore, but for others it feels like a game. Well, we are going to be the others this time around. And it's going to feel like a game while from ev for everybody around us is going to feel like a chore. And it is like we are kind of like trying to conquer Goliath while we are David. But at the end of the day, as the chariot sits with us, uh, we are going to prevail. And one last thing before I wrap this thing around with the Seven of Cups, what it is important there is while the daydream can become true that doesn't mean that the daydreaming way can be manifested so it is important as we do identify you know what can grow and what can take place whether it is love or a business to uh, proceed objectively about it and it isn't uh, because things can fail they can't at least not for the third at least not within the 31st of uh, may 2022 but we may end up being severely disappointed because you know we we have been optimistic we cut some corners we tried to take few steps for the straight of one and uh, it didn't work out so what this is going to do is going to bounce us back at the initial stage and we will have to try a new this time being a little bit more mindful objective grounded so that is uh, the uh, daily tarot guidance for 31st of may 2022 hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it guys and uh, we are going to see each other next time until then bye